Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Thank God it is Friday. Okay, guys. So if you did not catch, which I'm filming this before, but if you did not catch our hot messy topics by the time you're watching this today with Kim from Bravo Breaking News, then definitely go be a part of the replay crew. Otherwise, we are back to talk about the real housewives of Orange County. The trailer that dropped was insanity. And that's exactly, that's the kind of shit that we like around here. We like a good crazy trailer. Something that doesn't give it all away, but it lets us know that we're going to get a taste of some, you know? But with that, if you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, I believe I'm honestly running on like three and a half hours of sleep. So, okay, let's get a little Delulu here. Here we go. Okay, guys, so you know that we've been waiting for the Real Housewives of Orange County season 18 trailer for a minute. I mean, it's not like we've been waiting like Bravo was taking a long time. I think it's one of those situations, but more like we've been waiting because of the Alexis Bellino of it all, the John Jansen of it all, the Tamara Judge of it all. Then you have Jennifer Petronzi's boyfriend, which fiance, that's a whole shit show with the $16 million and whatnot. Then you have Gina bringing on a new housewife who is literally throwing Gina under the butt. Like, this is a shit show. But yeah, you better believe we're going to talk about it. Here we go. Mm -mm. And I love the new promo, by the way. Honestly, I thought it was good. So, based off of what they're saying, Tamara Judge is calling out Shanna Bedore for failing to take accountability after her DUI arrest. And this was obviously in the trailer that we saw yesterday. But we have a newbie. Her name's Katie Ganella or Janella. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce her last name. And she is actually the series' first Korean cast member. And she's introduced to the group by Gina Kirschenheider and quickly finds herself in a feud with Heather Debro. Now the cast embarks on a series of vacations that are filled with drama between Shannon and Alexis, who is dating Shannon's ex-boyfriend, John. There's also an encounter about Ryan, who is Jennifer Pedronti's boy. I keep calling, I want to call him boyfriend, but fiance. His involvement in a $16 million MLB betting scandal. Now, as the trailer begins, Teddy Mellencamp is seen addressing the group, immediately shading Vicky Gumbelson by signaling the fact that she's not a housewife like the rest. Right away, Vicky calls her a fucking bitch, and Heather admits that the diss was rude. By the way, can I say how... God, I'm like trying to be better, you guys. I'm trying not to say somebody's an absolute. I'm trying to be better. Teddy Mellencamp. Welcome, housewives and Vicky. Your shit doesn't land. You're trying to be, you're trying to have this moment that lands. It's not landing. You never land anything. You didn't land it at BravoCon. You didn't land it at Watch What Happens Live. Andy hates her. And, like, you didn't land it on the show. You're just not landing the plane. It never works for you. Like, she tries to be so sad. I think that Teddy thinks that she's like, this is what a housewife is supposed to be. That's the same shit that got you fired. And you're like, welcome, housewives and Vicky. The only difference is Vicky started her show and she was on it for, she's one of the longest running housewives. Whereas like Teddy, what were you on for like three years, maybe four? You didn't make an impact. Nobody remembers you for anything. And I'm not trying to be a bitch about it. I'm just like, there's something about her. And this isn't even a Vanderpump Rules recap. There's something about Teddy. I'm like, this sounds moronic. And I don't even know if that's a word. So maybe I'm a moron for saying it. But it sounds moronic. And that's where I'm at. Now, enough about Teddy. That's exactly what she wanted to make it about herself. Heather also targeted Gina, informing one of their castmates that she's a user and she's not my real friend before confronting her directly. I feel betrayed by you, is what Heather told Gina. And Heather isn't the only one that Gina's on the outs with. You're mad at me. She's mad at me. Travis Mullen is mad at me. 
That's what Gina told Emily during a tennis match. Everybody's fucking mad at me. But in fact, Travis is so mad that he's moving out of the home that they share. It's just hard to watch you moving out of our house, is what Gina said. And he said, you made this decision. But then in a cast confessional, Gina clarifies, I want to break up with his ex-wife, not him. But as Tamara and Jennifer Padronti, who gets engaged to Ryan amid the upcoming season, engage in a petty spat, during which they obviously tell each other, bye, 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 you, you bye. Alexis taunts Shannon about her relationship with John. I have your ex-boyfriend. There's the door, Shannon Bedore, is what she said. Elsewhere, you see Sutton Strack, and she made an appearance asking the newbie, Katie, have you met Heather? Yes, Heather was in front of me, and she turned around and went like this. I'm kind of making like a dirty face, and Sutton was like, oh, I wouldn't go up against Heather. But Katie's like, I'm not scared. I don't care. Then she later tells Heather to her face, you lie. She said, stop saying the word lie. Heather cops back, I did not lie. Emily Simpson, also back for season 18 with a new physique, said, I've lost weight, but Heather looks at me just like the big girl, is what she told her castmates, including newbie Katie. I felt like I was singled out. She later like cries as Heather insisted that that was not the case. But as expected, Shannon's legal drama is also discussed in the trailer. I'm so sorry that I disappointed you, is what Shannon tells, tells her twins, Stella and Adeline. Shannon is not taking account accountability for what she did, is what Tamara said in another scene. And Shannon is seen blowing into a device installed in her car, which is called a breathalyzer. Later, during a group meal with the cast, Shannon tells the waiter she'll have a Belvedere and soda with a lemon, which obviously got Tamara heated. You decided to drive your car into a house drunk, is what she said. And Shannon fires back, you need to stop. I need to stop what? Uncovering your bullshit? And... I mean, guys, this is a fucking shit show. But it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Alexis was just obviously as upset. There's a lot more. And if she wants to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I'm ready is what Alexis said. But as Alexis continues to flaunt John Jansen and the ring that he got her as a sign of their love, she confirms to Gina that she believes they'll get married one day. Does she want to be me is what Shannon asked in another comment. And she goes, <laughs> no. But as the sneak peek continued with the trailer, cryptic statements are made of John. You have no idea about John Jansen. You have no idea is what Shannon told Jennifer as Alexis cries over an apparent takedown. But if that's true, that's fucked is what Heather told Shannon. And then after Shannon mentions extortion and blackmail, she's seen in an emotional moment during a spa day with her castmates. He's a monster is where Shannon went with it. But after Jennifer and Ryan's relationship became a hot topic amongst the group, once again, Gina suspects if she stays with him, it will ruin her life. And then Tamara later asked when Eddie was trying to silence her, how's the FBI going for you? It was $16 million into his account, and he didn't know where it came from, is what Emily said. And meanwhile, in a scene with just the two of their mind tells Jennifer, everything is the Lord's plan. But she wasn't so sure, and she said, wait, this smear that you're getting, they're smearing you because that's God's plan? Now, as the trailer ended up concluding, one of the women is her one of the women is heard saying that the truth will come out. This is icky. This is not the way we treat women, is what Vicky said. But while seated with Gina on a couch, Shannon said, We don't stoop to this level. That's not who we are. And Gina said, This is who we are. Holy shit. Real Housewives of Orange County, July 11th. Mm, mm, mm. this is going to be a good one guys i want to hear what your thoughts are so pop off in the comment section if you guys are not subscribed obviously go ahead and get subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell and if you didn't catch hot messy topics today then what are you waiting for go check out hot messy topics i love you guys and we'll see you so very soon bye